guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I got my Morphe order in the mail. I so I just wanted to try a few things. So I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna come up with, but we'll just see how we go. All right, I'm gonna speed through the few of the clips, but I will give you my thoughts once I've done using my, once I've done using all the products. Actually, I'm just gonna talk through. I decided to make a talk through video instead. But if my baby wakes up, then I'm just gonna mute everything. <laughs> anyway, for um, for foundation and primer, I'm gonna go in with a Revlon Photo Ready Brightening Primer in NARS um, Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm in the shade M1 Punjab. Skin has been so dry lately, it's unreal. So if you see some flaky skin, just ignore that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up under my brows. I'm just gonna take the same concealer and primer and redo it. For eyes, we are going to use the Jaclyn Hill um, palette that she collaborated recently with Morphe. It only launched like two days ago and the shipping was great. I ordered it the day it launched and it's here. It's August 17th here today, I think, or 16th. But it came in like two or three days, so pretty impressed. This is how it looks, the one I got. This one is called Bling Boss. So pretty. Can't wait to dig in. I'm not going for any crazy tutorial, unless I come up with one right now, but. I'm not planning on to. Okay, what should we do? I want a very neat application where I don't have to clean up much. So I'm going to take my cute little tape here. Do the eye look. So first we're gonna take Hush Hush right here. Put this all over the lid as a transition. Ooh, they blend so nicely. Like it looks like I have been blending for days but it just blended in right away. Didn't have to do much work. Nice. And next, I'm going to take a denser brush, brush like this, and I'm gonna take the shade Rockstar. Oh, it's such a pretty color. This color, this shade right here. Take the back of the brush and just blend it. Okay, now we're going to take a small brush like so, and we are going to put a little bit of concealer on our lid. Here we go. 
and your cut. And wherever the concealer stops is where you're going to cut your crease. Now we're going to take this shade right here, it's called Mystic, right here, and we are going to put that in our outer corner, outer and inner. So one thing I have to say about this palette is this does have a bit of a fallout, but it's something we can work with. I mean, right now I'm kind of getting spots here and I tried to blend it away and it has left a stain, but we'll work with it. Okay, now for the middle bit. I'm going to shade. I'm going to. Sh I'm going to take the shade bling bling right here. And I don't know how this works. If it works better, just dry. Or should I use a setting spray? Hmm. What do you think? Kind of like that. I'm going to take a little bit of my finger and get the pigment more on here. I'm taking the same shade Bling Bling and just putting it on my brow bone. Okay. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to be using Morphe eyeliner, Gel Liner in Slate. Okay, I kind of had to, I, I sort of touched up my under eyes because the fallout kind of stuck there. If I had like powder or something underneath, it might, would have, it might not have gone once I um, wiped it away. But when I wiped with just a regular brush with nothing there, it kind of got stained. So, I had to touch up my eyeshadow or foundation. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do my concealer. And then we'll move on to the next step. Oh, and I'm using Naked Skin by Urban Decay in Light Warm. And now, actually, I'm going to use the Morphe sponge for the first time. I've heard so many good things about it, so let's see how this works. I gotta say, not bad. I hate when there's foundation on my lips. I just hate it. Anyway, this sponge literally feels like beauty blender. Jacqueline Hill was the person who raved about it the most. She wasn't joking and she said this was a good sponge. Honestly, I'm very impressed. To set under my eyes, I'm going to be going in with Cover FX powder in translucent light. It's their perfect setting powder. How else would you describe it? It's just perfect. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go in with. I'm gonna go in with Rockstar. This is the shade that we used in our crease. Put that in my lower lash line.
Now I wasn't going for a dramatic look, but hey. We're there now. Now, what I'm gonna do is take my concealer, same little brush, And my friends, I'm going to take the same shade that we took for the top lid. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with Benefit Bat Girl Mascara. I have last extensions on, so I don't need to coat my top one. I'm just gonna coat my bottom. Now that that's done, we are going to contour. I'm gonna go in with Benefit Hula Bronzer. Okay, we are going to let's set, set for a bit. This sponge is awesome. Look how clean that like the that like clean cut. Love it. I always make the mistake of filming wearing a white shirt. Now I have shit all over my shirt. Anyway. Um, I don't like to put blush a lot, so I'm not gonna put blush for highlight. We're gonna be going in with MRZ highlight by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now we are going to test off this. Could this look get any more dramatic? <laughs> I love it though. So pretty. Okay, we're gonna pop some highlight in the inner corner of our eyes. Taking the same Emrazy color. Okay, now we're gonna go in. This is new as well. This is the Morphe, not new in like the market, but I the first time trying it. I've never tried any Morphe liquid lipsticks. This one is called Schoolgirl. Smells so good. Here we go. Such a pretty color. I'm obsessed. And the corner is. Mm. Last but not least, I am so excited. What's going on with my hair? The infamous Morphe setting spray. So let's give this a whirl. Perfume! Oh my god, it smells so good. Alright, man, that feels so nice on the face. Alright guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved making it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!